Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Miss Faika and all my friends. My name is Sohaila Binti Suzlan. Today I want to present about PA Azil in Skull which is Cutwell Method in Radiographic Image Evaluation. PA and PA Azil differences. For PA 0 degrees, anatomy demonstrated is frontal bone and crystal gully. For position is petrous, petrous reach at level of superior orbital margin and rotation, no rotation. So, that is equal distance between orbit and natural skull. For cut well 15 degrees, anatomy demonstrated greater and lesser wing of spinoid frontal bone and superior orbital fissure for position petrous ridge projected in lower first one third of orbit rotation no rotation and equal distance between orbit and lateral skulls criteria of pe is 15 degrees first point is the distal from lateral orbital margin to the lateral cortis in left and right side is same and the crystal gully to the lateral cranial cortis on both sides is equal to and second point is petrous ridge are demonstrated horizontally through the lower third of our bits and the last point is petrous pyramid are superimposed superimposed over the infraorbital margin. This is a projection of PE at 15 degrees. I see so because crystal gully and nasal septum are aligned with long axis of exposure field. Supraorbital margin are demonstrated same horizontal plane and ethmod sinus are at the center of exposure field. How to evaluate this radiograph by detecting rate rotation? First is the distance between lateral cranial, cranial cortis and of the oblique orbital line. Second, we must evaluate the distance between lateral cranial cortis and crystal gully. And the last one is the direction of rotation is the opposite of side demonstrating greater distance. Detecting OML misalignment. We must evaluate the relationship between the petrous ridge and supraorbital margin. For the correct alignment, we must evaluate the petrous ridge demonstrated horizontally through the lower third of the orbit. Chin not adequately tuck, it shows petrous ridge inferior to infraorbital. Chin tuck too much shows that petrous ridge demonstrated in the upper half of the orbit. The positioning for this radiograph is incorrect. I see so because the distance between oblique orbital line on the right side is greater than the left side and from crystal gully to the lateral cranial cortex is not equal, equal distance and but this radiograph shows that the patient was the patient face was rotated towards the left side so the patient changed not adequately Tuck, which is less tuck to position the OML perpendicular to IR. Because the petrous ridge is inferior to the infraorbital margin. So, to improve this uh, radiograph, rotate patient face toward right side and tuck the chin to bring OML perpendicular to IR. So, next is alignment. Okay, extra tube with patient is cannot be determined because there 
are no for both sides of collimation. X-ray tube with cassette is cannot be determined because no for both sides of collimation. And the last one is cassette with passion is incorrect because the distance between the central structure to the edge of freedom in superior and inferior level is not equal. The centering point for this radiograph is cannot be determined because do not have four border sites of collimation. And the standard centering point for this collimation is CR 15 degree coded, coded OML center to exit the nation. For collimation at the super border, we must include central sagittal, central lambodidal, and frontal bone. And for inferior border, we must include mandible, which is angle, occipital bone, and bony nasal septum. And for the lateral border, we must include petrous ridge, ethmoid sinus, and lateral cranium. And there is no evidence of radiation protection. Exposure factor for PASL contrast in this radiograph. Uh, thin structure which is uh, bony cortical outline of frontal bone mandibular remi can be seen. For a thick structure, bony cortical outline of petrosrins and dorsum cellae can be seen. So, a submission is adequate and no action. For density, uh, the thin structure, which is bony trabecular pattern of the frontal bone and mandibular remi, is can be seen. And thick structure, bony trabecular pattern of petrosrins and dorsum cellae can be seen so the submission is adequate and no action needed. For the marker, there is an anatomical marker visualized within the collimated area. The evidence of marker is cut off so uh, this is not appropriately placed and it should be placed to super level and not superimposed with any region of interest. For aesthetic, the film size used in this radiograph is cannot be determined. Uh, this is because this film is obtained from the internet, and the correct film size used in this use is 24 times 30 cm, which is sufficient to demonstrate all structure of interest. And there is the evidence of artifact on the radiograph which is internal artifact. For name, the patient name, ID, date of examination, place of examination are not visualized. This is because uh, patient privacy and it should be placed appropriately area and not superimposed with any region of interest. So, the conclusion for this radiograph is this radiograph is not acceptable because patient's name, ID, date of examination, place of examination are not visualized to avoid change with other patient. And the evidence of plumber marker are cut off. Okay, this is the reference that I refer Von Ranger, McQueen, and Morgan. So that's all from me. If you guys have any questions about PASL cut well, just uh, just try to ask me in um, Telegram. That's all from me. Assalamualaikum.